all right guys so this video is about uh, how i have set up my x pro 3 here uh, so i would touch upon the various settings that i need for my photography and i have set it up in a way so that you know they are easily accessible and i believe this would help you as well so let's get started the first uh, setting that i would talk about is the aperture shutter speed and iso so basically i come from a dslr background and I am not a big fan of using these uh, physical dials because they sometimes slow you down. I like the aesthetics and the overall feel of Fujifilm, but I still am comfortable with the front and the back dial, uh, the traditional dials that we have in the DSLRs. So, uh, let, so what I've done here is basically I have uh, set up my aperture in the front dial and I have set the uh, shutter speed in the back dial and I have put the ISO as auto so uh, I would let you know how you can do it so basically if we go on to the settings right now and we go to this wrench icon here and then we go to button and dial settings so if you come down onto the command dial settings so if you see the screen, here we have this front dial as to what we can set it up to. Now, I had this confusion and I had to kind of research on this on the internet. Uh, basically, in the X-T30, this front dial, you can, you can press the front dial and that would toggle between the F number, the ISO, and again the F number. So basically what this means is if you press once, it goes to aperture if you press second time it goes to ISO and if you press third time again it comes to aperture so you can you can have all these settings that are shown here the ISO the F you can you can toggle between them but the catch was the front dial in uh, Fujifilm X Pro 3 does not depress that means you cannot press it uh, so the workaround here is if you see closely it says here set function so basically you have this the liver here that toggles between the optical viewfinder and the uh, electronic viewfinder this there is a switch here you see this so basically if you press this switch just give me a second please okay well the lens is not mounted here so it's not letting me toggle between so what this was well, sorry for that because the lens is mounted at the xt30 right now which is currently recording the video so what this does is basically if you you can instead of since you cannot press this uh front dial you can use this button uh, uh which can basically do the same functionality so how you can do that is you have to come on to the button and dial setting you come on to the command dial setting and at the moment i have kept it as f iso f this is the sequence i have done so i would let i'll show you how we can how we can achieve this by using the function button since we cannot press this we have to use this function button see i'm pressing this this function button to toggle that so how we can do that is we basically go on to menu or you can long press this display button here and that would open the function menu here so you can go and you can set this function one that is this you see the function two button right now which is highlighted here this function two button would basically help you this is the front command dial switch you see so that button would be a substitute for this front command dial uh, depression that means if you want to whatever functionality you want to achieve by pressing this button that can be done by pressing this particular function button and you can set it with the front command dial switch the second thing that i want to touch upon here is basically in order to have these front and back dials to control the aperture and the and the shutter speed you need to change this 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 top dial that you see you have to put it to t you have to set it to t 
okay because if you set it anything other than t then you would not be able to change it change the shutter speed with the back dial next if you want to change the aperture again with the front dial on the lens basically you have a setting called a you have to select a there i am sorry i cannot show you that right now and then you can change the aperture with the front dial with this front dial so yeah so that's that that's about setting the aperture iso and the shutter speed now let's talk about metering now this was again a big concern for me because i was not able to find uh, metering you generally find the metering in the dials or there's a dedicated button to it in in any dslrs but uh, what happens here is uh, we do not have a dial on the x pro 3 um, if you go to this camera icon here on the settings and then you go on to the photometry you see the photometry which is grayed out right now i would talk about that again later why is it grayed out but that photometry lets you toggle between all the various metering but now in order to access photometry you need to have the auto face detection setting off and we go on to sorry we go on to AFMF right and then we go on to the face eye detection setting and we turn it to off now once you turn it to off and if you go back to menu sorry we go again to the camera icon here and then we go on to photometry now you see that is accessible so when you see here so you have all the metering you have multi you have center weighted you have spot and you have average so th these are the various metering options that you have in the, available in this camera basically uh, what I have done is I have set this function button this is a function 1 to photometry so if you see if I press this I can have all these handy with me in or in without going on to the menu and the going through toggling through the various options this is pretty handy when you press the button and you can change the metering so I have set this function button 1 as uh, photometry so that again can be done by going on to the various function buttons this is the function one and you can see here I have set it to photometry I hope you're able to see it with this you can do most of the things with this camera uh, you basically have your aperture you have your shutter speed you have your ISO which is set to auto and then you have uh, this function button which is set to uh, the matrix uh, sorry the metering and then you have this front uh, function button which is basically set to toggle between aperture and ISO so these were most of the crucial settings that are very much required uh, as I understand at least if you're like me who shoots fast and uh, I mean you can cater to various situations uh, having all these settings handy so I hope you like this video and uh, uh, if you do, please do give it a, a like and do subscribe to my channel.